Hello, you guys. Hello, everybody. Okay. Foodie Beauty has been in a mood today. Um, I don't necessarily want to go over her nasty, vile, absolutely disgusting words she used about um, Yava and Yava's family. So she's been in a whole ass mood. People think something else is going on. Is she fighting with Salah? Did he not come home from the Red Room? Or is this just like her views are really, really low and she always knows if she rages about whoever plus BBJ, the views jump up. Hello, Hugh. Hello, lady. Seven lives. Satan. Kiwi girl. Um, Steffi, I think I saw you here. Fairy nymph. Hello. Hello, everybody. Will she be eating? Yes. <laughs> but if you want, we could do foodie beauty Twitter first so you can hang out for a little bit before you lose your appetite. Hey, Lily. Good to see you. I'm planning on, by the way, if Amberlyn Reed uploads anything tonight um, or I see anything else interesting since I took a nap today, I have a feeling I'm not going to be getting to bed early tonight. <laughs> so I'm planning on doing a late night stream if there's anything to go over. Um, I'm hoping Marty covers Crystal again or something. So that's going to happen later. Like I said, I took a nap, which I never do. I never get to. I don't know before today, the last time I ever got to take one. So I have a feeling I'm not going to be able to sleep very well. <laughs> okay, eat quickly, eat quickly. He's spending the night with his other wife, probably, and took her for a spin in his new car, you know. You're here, Steffi, and Miss T is here. Okay, so this is her mystery stew <laughs> with a twist. I don't know with what the twist is. Um, I'm assuming it's going to be absolutely disgusting. You know what? Let's speed her up before we <laughs> before we have to torture ourselves here. Let's speed her up. We were just over on YouTube covering Crystal Station over at the parade. That was like the never ending parade. But we are going to be go like covering a lot more Crystal Station, a lot more. So just a heads up if you want to watch um, and keep up with things, you will see that over on YouTube. Lily said, my grandson stayed last night and had me up all night. He has to sleep with me. He will not sleep in his crib. Oh, he feels safer sleeping next to you. Yeah, it, and you never get to sleep soundly. Never with the kids in the bed. Never. <laughs> my 11-year-old still wants to sleep with me sometimes, and she kicks me the entire night. She kicks me. She takes all the covers off me. I wind up with no pillows. We have a pretty big bed, both of us, but whenever she sleeps with me or insists on me sleeping there, somehow I'm on like the very edge about to fall to my death. <laughs> but you know, as long as she's getting a great night's sleep, as long as she is. <laughs> He's seven months old and kicks like a man. And uh, that's how it started early for my daughter too. She kicked early on. It's crazy. These kids, these kids like can kick. Oh my gosh, hold on. It said level one hype train. Oh, cool. I always get excited. Hello, Mandy. Hello. Sounds like my hubby. Yes, I love sleeping alone. I love having all my blankets. I love having all my pillows. I love not wondering if I'm going to fall to my death during the night. <laughs> I got a hype train. <gasps> That's so cool. Oh my gosh, you guys. <gasps> It feels like Christmas. That's so cool. Thank you, you guys. You just made my whole evening. I promise if there's anything to talk about, we're definitely coming back now later. <laughs> we definitely are. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. And Lady D, subscribe for two months. Oh, this is an amazing evening. Thank you so much, you guys. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. A little fun thing I'm planning over here on Twitch. Um, usually the day of Thanksgiving or the day after the whole city starts decorating the houses. So I'm going to take you guys to go look at Christmas lights a lot, like a lot, just to let you know, <laughs> a 
we might go see the same houses sometimes a lot, but um, I think it'll be fun. I think it'll be fun. And you could, you know, not a lot of people have ever been to Southern California. So maybe you could see it through my eyes. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Cyber subscribed. Oh, thank you so much. Cyber for two months. <laughs> yes. I'm going to show you. There's this one neighborhood in my city that goes like, well, the one close to me, we're definitely doing that. And then there's this other one, like up right up against the mountains and it's a whole huge block and um you can basically sync your radio whatever with the lights and it's so cool they go all out like i'm telling you all out so i'm super excited i love christmas lights i just love them um i've never been oh you've been to northern cali northern california is beautiful it's absolutely beautiful different vibe different vibe Definitely. Where did you go to in Northern California? I remember um, me and my sister used to do road trips and we would always go see Dave Matthews Band play up in Northern California. And I remember the nicest city I think I've ever been to as far as like people wise, like where you don't feel like you're in California because everybody was so nice. It was this little city. Well, it's little to me. I don't know. It's probably a big city now. It was Sunnyvale. I don't know if anybody's been there, but the people there, it did not feel like you. And then there's this other little city or little town, and it's called Gilbert. And everybody there is so nice, too. Oh, my gosh. <gasps> you guys, I've never had so much action over here on Twitch. I'm honored. Thank you so much. <laughs> this is so cool. <gasps> oh, my gosh. I'm telling you. You guys rock. I love everybody over here on Twitch. I love the platform in general. It just feels not as toxic. So I promise you my thank you for all of this. It's going to be a whole lot of Christmas lights, a whole lot. And then one of these days before Christmas lights, we're going to go eat at In-N-Out. I don't know. A lot of people have always wanted to go there. Or they want to see what it is. I do not get any double doubles, nothing like that. I get a grilled cheese and an Arnold Palmer and some fries. But I figure we could go to lunch there and announce fun. And I love their merch. <laughs> Wait, what did Joe do? Thank you, everybody. Oh, this is so cool. I don't know what a level two means, but we're almost at the level two hype train. This is so cool. It's saying that I'm about to set a new record. Oh, this is the best evening ever. I love you guys. Thank you, Twitch. Thank you, guys. All right, let's get into Foodie Beauty's video. Um, a grilled cheese. It's so good. It's so good. Okay, let's watch her mukbang, and then we're going to head over to some Foodie Beauty Twitter. All right, here we go, you guys. Hello, guys. Hello. Hello. Welcome back to another video. I'm super hungry. This has to cool off a bit. So, anyways, bismillah. Uh -huh. um, this is um, mafe, or, which is a West African dish but and you guys have seen me make this before it's always a recipe that's it's from my past but it's stuck with me and i love to make it once in a while i crave it um it's basically just beef stew with um tomato and peanut now how i make it didn't she eat a lot of this with an x i can't remember if it was bb or a natter is while it's cooling off um i saute i fry the beef with oil on like medium high get it nice and brown and then i add the onions um, tomato paste and I fry that till the tomato paste gets like darker red. You don't want it to be too like tangy. And then she has on the screen, should I make an e recipe book? No, no. Um, I add water, you know, to cover the, the meat and, and give it enough time to like I let it simmer for like a good maybe like at least a half an hour, maybe 35. Thank you. Thank you so much for the bits. Oh my gosh. I just set a new record. You guys are amazing. Oh my gosh. Thank you so, so much. PQ, I'm going to write you a little thank you note, by the way, um, for earlier. And again, if you guys, and I see you regularly here, if you guys want a Christmas card from me, reach out to me and DM me and I'm going to be doing Christmas cards this year. I know it just feels good. Like not everybody gets to be around their family for the holidays. Some of their family lives out of state, wherever. And so like, if I can make your holiday a little brighter, I'm going to send you a sticker too. I have a ton of sunflower stickers. So if you guys want one of those, <laughs> thank you, PQ. This is such a fun night. Oh my gosh. Thank you guys. Five minutes or so. Then I add the root vegetables. Now I add tomatoes and potatoes, but you can add whatever you want. Um, 
yams, whatever. Sweet potato was nice in this actually. And then I add a bit more water, let that cook down for another half an hour. Then the last part, I add um, the beef bouillon, some Worcestershire sauce. Uh, although the original recipe doesn't call for that, but you can, you know, add whatever you want. Um, I add peanut butter and the peanut butter doesn't taste like peanut butter in the sauce. It makes it nice and uh -huh. thick and like smooth. I don't know, creamy kind of. Okay, this is all fine and dandy, but whatever you made, it looks like crap or barf. Um, it thickens it, adds a nice flavor profile. So yeah, so then I cook that for another half an hour until the oil separates, probably from the peanut butter and the oil that I cooked with on the top. And um, then you're, you're, oh, and then I add the last part, I add some white cabbage, like a wedge of white cabbage inside. Uh, and then uh, let it cook for maybe another five. Okay, but I still only see poop. Five, seven <laughs> minutes, and it's good to go. And I have some rice here. I have basmati and uh, the beef cubes. Yeah, they're very tender. It's almost like slow cooker. They've been cooking for an hour and a half. You know, that's the trick with beef. You have to let it cook. Beef cube. My favorite part is the carrots. So yeah, you let it cook low and slow. And it's nice and tender. So low and slow, and you too could eat something that resembles baby poop. Oh my gosh. Delicious. If you mm. say so. I love it. You love everything. So, anyway, <laughs> so I got anyway. uh, cooking today. I'm thinking of making oatmeal raisin cookies seven lives it does oh my gosh oh my gosh it does oh you know like baking cookies just makes the house smell so like comforting i don't know and cooking this smells great um yeah we've just been cleaning kind of uh-huh it does remind her of an ex we've been just living very uneventful lives and um but it's peaceful, <laughs> which is why we're so like dumbfounded. The amount of people on the internet who just have to make so much drama out of our lives that are just so boring now. You know what I mean? Okay. So you're batshit crazy. What happens is people comment on what you put onto a public platform. And if anybody, this is what you do. I'm not saying this is exactly what you do. But if anybody comments anything you don't like, you have to get them back a hundred times worse. So if somebody said, ah, foodie beauty, like her weight is concerning. Her hands are swollen. They're huge. She's gained X amount of weight since she's got to Kuwait because of the way she eats. If you say anything like that, she'll get you back with like, just die, bitch. Like she gets you back 20 times, a hundred times worse. If you comment at all about how Salah doesn't do anything, not a damn thing to help his fake wife out. She'll go after your family members, and it's not okay. The amount of hate you get, Foodie Beauty, is because you're a shitty person. You're a horrible person. Like, I get it. You need to feed your kids with hate money, but I don't know how you live with yourselves, really. We need to feed our kids. You have to pay for a husband and buy him dino nuggies and Capri Suns. Just like, I'd really like to know why it's okay for these people. And, and if you think that I'm the unhinged one, go on these hate channels and look at their video list. They have thousands for years of videos. It doesn't make anybody a hate channel for reacting to you and saying the facts. You look very unwell and you're massive. Go look on your channel to what you say in response because we say that. Later today, I'm sure, or tomorrow, you'll make up another rumor of how I sold my daughter for a bottle of alcohol. I'm sure that's what you do. She's always the permanent victim, and it's wild to me. It was picking me apart, saying disgusting things about me and my husband, like, ew, how do they sleep together? All these disgusting things about our bodies. Uh, he's a user. All unfounded claims they have no proof for whatsoever. How is that unfounded? You make fun of people's weight and bodies more than anybody else. You do. I doubt you guys sleep together. <laughs> I doubt it. They act like they're living with us. It's so invasive and weird. You know nothing. I hate to tell you, but you are all idiots. You are. Along with your entire audience. 
Isn't she just such a lo- lovely Mormon, Mormon Muslim wife? <laughs> I said Mormon. Isn't she just a lo- lovely wife? So peaceful, so modest. Because some of the things they say, like, insane. Um, I don't know. People are just obviously mad that I'm just living a, a good life now. Like, you know, but... This is what you consider a good wife. Salah's getting all the benefits. Like he's gaining nothing but benefits off of you, eating yourself to death. And you have to stay doing this to be able to afford him. Her CPAP sound lulls him to sleep. (laughs) You said you were right about the mother comment about the mothers. She hates us. Yes. She hates women. She hates mothers. She never goes after the guys at all. And it's wild to me because this woman always says, I need to take my child to the park. I have no business reacting because I'm a mom. However, she watches Yo Mama, who's never with his kids, ever. And that's fine. That's fine. She drags me. She drags anybody with addictions. But he admittedly does cola. But that's fine. Why is it okay for these people with the thousands of videos about us? Every day, we sit back, we say nothing, we live our lives. But when I retort once or twice, they cry, they cry. They turn around and cry and make Because what you do is nasty and evil. Somebody pointing out a fact such as you are massive and gaining weight even more, and you're promoting a very unhealthy lifestyle, all of that is shouldn't, like, it doesn't mean you can go and attack anybody's deceased family members. And if you don't, like that people are commenting on your way, either do something about it or stop uploading. You're uploading to a public platform. Because I say you're clearly unwell doesn't mean you can come after my child. Because Yaba points out stuff you do doesn't mean you can go over any go after anybody who's passed away. More content and more content out of it. And it's fair use. What's furthermore is the things they discuss are none of their business, like like our sex life. Like we are a Muslim couple and we are very private about that. That's none of your business. Like what kind of adult person asks these kinds of questions? I don't see anybody asking a question. I see people stating facts that there's no way he touches you. What are you teaching your children by acting this way in front of them? I'd really like to know. It's really gross. Um, Do you think we're reacting with our children in the same room while watching you? No, we're not. That's something you would do, but nobody else does. Yes, and she always says FFG isn't getting any. Her and your mama do that all the time. Say that she's not getting any, that she made up the, what is he, a lumberjack man? Something like that. So she has no room to be crying over. Just this. not moving on from my past, even though I have. It's really weird. So yeah, once in a while, I think I have the right to point out hypocrisies. Point out hypocrisies and don't go after family members. You don't like it if anybody mentions your grandma. The one that you didn't go to visit because you were too busy chasing Nader around town. Remember that? I remember the short little coochie dress you wore to her funeral or her service. You freak out if anybody mentions any of that. Like somebody with a bad past of choosing partners commenting on my husband with no proof of anything. Salah is very providing. He's very loving. He's not abusive. And the rest is not your business. He doesn't love you because if he did, you wouldn't be doing this. If you were happily married and so in love, you wouldn't be doing this. Remember the the, remember the dress, Hugh? Remember the dress? It barely went past her butt. Like we saw it all. We saw it all. Like it all. Why is there so much drama over our new car? Like what?
Because one day you were preaching to us about how material things don't matter, and the next day you were bragging about your new car that comes with a fire extinguisher. It's a very, it's an expensive car. It's a knockoff. It's like the Timu version. <laughs> and it comes with a fire extinguisher. So I thought I was broke. I thought I'm not making the views I was. I thought uh, I'm super broke, so we have to buy bargain items. Well, why are you shopping at a, dis a discount um, grocery store that's meant for like low income families? Why are you shopping there if you have so much money? Why? I think you're broke because you have a fake husband to support. It's like raising a child. You have to pay for everything with him. Everything. <laughs> I think you have to keep eating like this. Even if you wanted to stop, you couldn't because this is how you make money now from um, your feeders. Which, again, scrutinizing the groceries I buy. <clears throat> like, am I supposed to buy Gucci brand milk? Like, I, don't, I don't get it. These people are so petty and bitter. That's how you sound. I think she's the only one who sounds petty and bitter right now. Really, I mean... You have to pick apart every little thing someone does. You're bitter. I mean, I may be petty, but I'm not feeling rather bitter right now. And I'll tell you something. People might think I'm bitter because people make more views than me. They make more money. They make more super chats, whatever. I don't even really go live anymore. So if I cared about super chats, you know, I'm sure I could make way more views if I talked crap about these people every day and involved myself in the drama. But I'm never going to do that. You know, I did like a reaction video, a parody, once in a while. Mm -hmm. But to make that my sole content, just for money. I don't think you're in any position to be judging how people make money when you have to seriously eat yourself into deletion to make any. I don't want to become what disgusts me. And I'm more worried about my karma and living a happy, mentally stable life. If you were worried about your karma, you would change your behavior now because your karma is going to be epic. I think you're starting to live your karma, but I wouldn't want to be you when the rest rains down. Yeah, nobody's better but her. <laughs> like. I'm going to wake up tomorrow. I, I'm probably going to go on an electric scooter ride. Um, I'm going to be around a family who loves me and wants to be around me. Like, I don't have to pay for sex. No hate if you do. Um, and I don't have to pay anybody to hang out with me. Like, I don't have to pay anybody to fake love me. Like, we're all going to continue living our best lives. And you are going to stay stuck eating off of a serving platter. You know, like we do well, we do well, well enough. And mashallah, alhamdulillah, I'm so happy. I can't complain. She's so happy yet she's eating like this. So. Uh-oh. Oh, if I would go. rather have my life with a little less views than have to be somebody who's, an, who's a hypocrite also obese, coward, can knock him up, um, has to make up a man, uh, sorry to say this, but has a face that only a fake man could love. But you're not bitter, right? She's nasty. You know what? At least FFG's gut doesn't sit on her knees. Exactly, Smitten. Smitten said my gut doesn't sit on my lap. I'm good, thanks. Oh my gosh. Has to screech every day, hating on someone uh, who they apparently can't stand, but has to watch every little thing I do for content. Yeah, I would I would rather take my life, yeah. I definitely wouldn't ever want to have your life. So again, I don't care about views. I don't care about that stuff. Mm -hmm. Then why do you whip out these rages and these moods whenever you need money? Because your views are down? Like I said before, 
I have a target of like 5,000 views per video. That's good enough for like a little side hustle for me, you know? Don't forget about the income you're making from the Sam's Bar Lounge videos. So, whatever. Mm -hmm. But don't sit there and, and say the most vile things about us every day. And then when we call it back, don't go cry in a corner. You're nasty. You're nasty. People talking about how you look does not mean you can go and attack family members. You are absolutely nasty. Basically. None of what these people say are true. Everything that everybody's saying is true and it's all documented everywhere. If you're if you're just finding Foodie Beauty and you want to know, is she really this nice person? Is everybody lying about her? It's documented everywhere. She is one of the worst people to be on YouTube. We're private about our intimate life. We're Muslim. We can't talk about that stuff here. But if you know me from my past, I would never be in a relationship where we don't have intimacy. It wouldn't happen. So get a life. You would though. You would be in that. Booty, he's not touching you. I know you're trying really hard to convince the world of that, but he's not touching you. If he was, you wouldn't be acting like this. Life and worry about your own life. Salah's an amazing man and fulfills every need imaginable. People will say, well, he was poor before you met him. He was living in a bachelor. He was alone. What's he going to pay? Even that bachelor was like enough money because he lived in a, in, a, in a Samia. But then why did you lie and say he was so well off that you never had to work a day again in your life? He lived in a mansion. He drove a really nice car. And then you get to Kuwait and he had none of that. He started getting things because of you and the way you eat. I have no chill tonight. <laughs> It's like a popular city here. Whatever, he had his own place, he had a car. He lived to be for me. Uh -huh. so he's making, he makes money after me. Like, How is he making money when you guys leave for six weeks at a time? Like, What job can he be working where he could just leave for six weeks at a time? There's no way. He's not working. We already got the proof that Salah's dad paid for him to be listed as a business partner. You know, like, it's so weird for these overweight women to just sit there and assume that he's using me for money as if, like, nobody can love me because I'm overweight. When they're also obese, like, I just don't get it. And they're too cowardly to show anybody. So right there, it's like, you should shut up because you don't have any right to talk when you're too coward to even show yourself. Everybody has shown themselves. I'm not sure what she's talking about. I've shown myself and I am nowhere near the weight of her. So I don't know why she keeps going with everybody's obese. FFG's not the same weight as her. Yaba is not the same weight as her. She is the biggest woman. <laughs> she is. I know. Where's the Beezer spray? <laughs> Where is that? It's not because she's death fat. It's because she's ugly inside and out. Take her weight out of the equation. She's just a nasty, vile human being. Nobody could love somebody like that. Not even Salah. Not even Natter could manage to fake love her. Nobody can. So weird. We don't have people like that here. You know, so for Salah's like, how I've never seen people like this in my life that just like scrutinize the lives of others. Like. Then go look in a mirror. She is the biggest person if you think about it. I think she's bigger than ALR. Hungry Fat Chick is skinnier than her now, right? Didn't Hungry Fat Chick lose a lot of weight? FFG is not Foodie Beauty's weight. Yaba is not FFG or Yaba is not Foodie Beauty's weight. 
nobody is the same size as her. She is the biggest one. And I think she needs to hear that because she's always like, these obese women, nobody is the size of you. And if you think other people are, that just tells me you don't own a mirror. Where are your kids when you talk about these vile things? Are they at home when you talk about our sex life, when you talk about uh, just shaming in every way? Like, is that a good example for them or what? Hey, Psycho. So many of us, I'm sorry that your childhood clearly sucked, but many of us have kids who are older and who are involved in activities who also have other family members, (laughs) they're not sitting in the same room. I would never dream of showing my daughter you. I love her too much to give her nightmares for the rest of her life. I don't know, your childhood must have been so effed up because you only think that people take kids to the park 24 seven or shut them up with food. Like everybody else has a life, foodie. (laughs) I don't know how to say that. You need to get over the kid thing. You need to, you have some deep rooted issues with mothers, children, and women, and you really need to go seek help for that. I know it's disgusting how often she brings up kids, like children who have done nothing to her, right? At all. They haven't done anything to her. She just licked that crap off of her fingers. Anyway, we don't let it affect our everyday life, but once in a while, a community post or video will just be addressing, like, you know. I froze the water. I tried drinking the water through our tap filter. Mm -hmm. It was still a bit salty. Drink more of it then. She's jealous and insecure that she can't have kids. I don't know what it is, but she has some deep-rooted issues. She hates anybody that has kids, and she hates kids too. She's admitted that. So, bottled water it is. But I'll use the filtered water for cooking. Are you embarrassed that that bottle looks tiny in your huge hands? Stuff like that. Anyway, so that's uh, all I wanted to say about that. (laughs) That's all she wanted to say about that. Oh my gosh, she finished that whole thing. I mean, Amber Lynn and I have so many reaction channels talking about the dumbest things. Oh, would you look at that? She's hanging on to her fridge for dear life. I can't lean on my fridge when I'm talking without it being a video for 30 minutes. Like, I, 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 I they do the same thing with Amber. Like, she is. I don't know how to tell you this, but people like Amberlyn read more than you. And it's not normal to hang on your fridge when you're attempting to cook. No, it's not normal. Ground chili. I, she used ground turkey again in her chili. Why are you watching then? I mean, why is that? People pointed out you used rotted meat or meat that was going bad. Fine, nobody pointed out to her. Let her get so sick. (laughs) She can't leave the bathroom. Let her. Nobody pointed out ever again. Let her eat rotted meat. She deserves it. It's that entertainment. Who cares? It's so weird to me to just like always pick on the same two people for the same mundane stupid things. It screams no life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you going to lift the serving platter now too? Anyway, same old, same old crap, as they say. How's your blood pressure? (laughs) There's so much more important things going on in in the world. These people only put energy into, like, something else, you know? At least we could put energy into anything else. This this took all your energy. And then you're going to take a little break and you're going to eat a huge meal again. Okay, can you tell that was delicious? Every time I make this, I love it. Salah loves it. 
just basically make a beef stew, but add uh, some tomato paste and some peanut butter. It doesn't, it could be sugar, peanut butter with sugar. It mm -hmm. could be natural peanut butter. I wouldn't use crunchy peanut butter though. It has to be Seven Life said her blood pressure is cheese. <laughs> so, yeah. It could be good old Skippy. Who knows? <laughs> Typically, I use the natural peanut butter, but you can use whatever. All right, guys. I guess that's it. Thanks for listening to me and my thoughts. You know, that's all I have to say about that matter. Back to uh, living our lives while um, cowardly hypocrites pick it apart at every turn. Foodie, everybody else actually lives their lives with their families, their kids, their jobs. You stay on the floor and look out a window and watch everybody else living their life. Anyways. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye. All right, let's go to Foodie Beauty Twitter, you guys. She's just nasty. It just proves to me Salah is with his other hotter wife. <laughs> she's so mad. She's so mad. I don't know. She's in no position to really judge anybody, though. Like I said, you know, later on, when people are done reacting, we go and we're around people that love and can stand to be near us. Booty Beauty stays on a floor eating her feelings. You know, couldn't be me. Couldn't be me. <laughs> And I guess nobody pointed her out how shitty she looks, how her meat is rotting. Just let her let her live her best miserable life and get sick. Like, it really bothers her if you point out that her meat is rotted. I can't read this, but I hope you guys can see it on the screen. <laughs> so Buck posted Booty Beauty's community post where she's talking about um, how she definitely didn't neglect or abuse BBJ, yada, yada, yada. I don't know why she's still talking about BBJ. She's not her cat anymore. Um, and this is what Buck thinks. Because I'm still a see you next Tuesday. Yep. She is. She is. Okay, let's see. Okay, Gabriel Rogers said, I don't understand why Amberlynn Reed and Foodie Beauty enjoy watching Yo Mama. Maybe they just like saying his name because he's the only man who will pay attention to them. That's what it is. And I use the term man loosely. He's the only person who will be so far up their butt that they can't see the light of day anymore. And they enjoy that. Every, uh, not even Natter would associate with either of them. Even when, remember when Amberlynn Reed was hanging out in Natter's chat and apologized to him. That was the whole thing. Not even Natter wanted to hang out with them. So it's a big deal that any sort of man wants to pay attention to them. That's just what it is. Amberlyn Reed acts like a schoolgirl about it. Like, just wait until he turns on them. Because he will. He will. And uh, they're going to be crying. <laughs> All right. A mama. Yes. Blanket fort for the win. You want something from the sweetie box? What? <laughs> Lily said, if I saw Chins in real life, trust and believe, I'd walk right up and tell her what I think of her. I have a few words I'd like to say to her, too. Yep, I do. Okay, P.I. said, Salah does not work. A person who has a supposed job cannot leave the country for six weeks. It's all lies. There's no way. There's, he, that guy does not work. He gets paid to make appearances with Booty Beauty. Um, Season said, Lurch is an amazing man. That doesn't mean shit seeing you have zero standards. Must we remind you of Natter? Also, bitch face, no one gives a damn. I hope he continues to take you for every dime you have and leaves you bedridden and broke. Yeah, same. Same thoughts exactly. <laughs> Feel the same way, ditto. Is anyone else having trouble watching on an Apple TV? Weird things are happening and I'm getting ads. Um, if the ads are the weird things happening, I think that just happens on Twitch. I don't know. I'm definitely not watching on an Apple TV though, so I don't know. I got a snack box from my, how cute, Steffi! What'd you get in your snack box? Cyber, I don't have Apple TV. I'm on my phone. Yeah, I have no clue. Um, if you're subscribed through Prime though, you shouldn't be getting ads. So, are you signed in on your Apple TV through Prime? I don't know. Just blame Apple for everything. <laughs> Salt and Sass said, I had to laugh when she spat out, it's an expensive car. Chins, 
it's a shit box that not cannot be sold in multiple countries due to it being so bad. And it's actually cheaper than many SUVs. No one is petty and bitter. They're calling you out on lines. That was well said. Um, Spin Dizzy said, I guess it's that time. Payday rage stream. Doesn't Google take 30% of the top from AdSense, memberships, and super chats? And Uncle Sam takes 20% in taxes because Google is based in the U.S.? 50%! Ouch! Yeah, YouTube and Google AdSense take a lot. Like, they take a lot of those um, super chats, all of that. Okay, Tara Lee said, A picture is worth a thousand words. You'll always be an animal abuser, foodie beauty. There's no escaping it. And Queen of WTF said, You can leave this for your newbies. Some will believe you. Some probably won't bother to look into your past. But again, just because you deleted it doesn't mean it didn't happen. There is plenty of evidence on your animal neglect still out there. Yep, she thinks she can rewrite history. So if you're wondering who Foodie Beauty is, go search what she's done to her cats how many times she tried to abandon them, how she wanted to put down BBJ simply because BBJ was in the way. And Foodie Beauty didn't want that commitment anymore. She's absolutely vile. She makes fun of school shootings. She makes fun of um, the horrible things that happened on 9-11 that nobody in their right mind would make fun of. She's made racist comments, anti-Semitic. She's a horrible person. Take her weight out of it. There's nothing redeemable about her anymore. Before, when many of us started watching her, we thought she loved her cats and she could be funny and there was things that you could find to like about her. Now, there's nothing. There's absolutely nothing good about her. Um, Lily Lou said, FFG has all of BBJ vet notes posted on her community. Okay. Yeah, go look it up. If you're wondering if everybody's lying, go check it out. You'll find videos everywhere. Um, okay, Hidden Truth said, Harry is still a no-show. And what happened to Salah's successful perfume business? She used to talk about that constantly, and the Beezer perfume was doing so well. They haven't mentioned it in a long time. I don't know if Harry's still with us. I don't know. And I feel like she can't replace him because she's gone through all the hamsters in Kuwait. But we haven't seen him for a while. And Salah's successful business perfume... It was proven that Salah's dad just paid for him to be listed. Like, he really has no part in it. Um, let's see. I love that she sent you a box, Steffi. Any goodies? What's your favorite? I know. Tell us what's in the box. Lily said, I think they lost Harry in this last move. They might have. Q said, now, those who dump their cats just follow this freak. Exactly. All right. Let's see. Let's read a few more tweets, you guys. Um, Season said the food you make is just as gross as Natter's. Booty Beauty, absolutely putrid. I'd never eat that slop. I wouldn't either. I would never eat anything that she made. A, because we know she doesn't wash her hands. B, because we know she doesn't care if the meat has gone bad or rotted. C, because I want to wake up the next day. There's not a chance in hell I would eat anything she made. <laughs> um. Okay. P.I. shared that Foodie Beauty's cameo has only got 13 reviews since July. That's four months. And they said Foodie Beauty is killing it on cameo. She has five stars somehow. But, yeah, 13. Oh, Foodie. You are broke. You're broke and gaining, and meanwhile, everybody's losing weight around you. <laughs> Wait, Hugh said, tell her the center console isn't a fridge. It doesn't have an ice box, and her meal size won't fit in there. It's 100% a center console. Joel agreed. Oh, no, and she thinks it's a refrigerator. <laughs> oh, no, poor foodie's going to be so disappointed. Okay, Lauren said, all Chantel wants is for people to think she's desired by men and be jealous of her. She's damn frustrated that everyone sees through her fake life and knows that Salah wouldn't touch her fupa, even if his life depends on it. And Aaliyah said, yep, this sums it all up. 
he's never touched her food, but I'm sorry. But if she was getting it, she wouldn't be so nasty. Like Sherry said, have you guys figured out why Chantal talks about children? Is it because as a parent myself, oh, it's because as a parent myself, if someone comes for my kids, I will rip them apart. That's the only time they said the ghetto girl comes out. So that is her intention to start drama for views. Yeah, whenever she needs money, she goes to the BBJ deflection. She hates FFG. She's going to sue FFG. And then if you're a parent and you happen to react to her, you're a woman, I guess I should say, if you're a mom, she rips you to shreds. So it seems to be her usual go-to for views, um, which is absolutely disgusting. Tara Lee said, um, oh, I was quoting Foodie Beauty, you need to feed your families with hate money. And Tara said, you mean like how you pay your husband with money you make by shoving enough food for three people in your face? <laughs> True. True. And then Tara asked, excuse me, ma'am, are you seriously eating from a serving platter? Foodie beauty, you not only take the cake, you take the whole friggin' bakery. Something went wrong. What do you mean something went wrong? My phone just talked to me for no reason, and that was kind of creepy. Okay. Um, Pearl said, Watch it be yo mama. Amberlyn Reed is in love with. We already know he slides into all the fatties of YouTube's DMs. And they're showing, I guess she's hinting she's in love again. Barbecue Chicken was the original poster and said, Amber is in love again, y'all, for the 30th time. I hope she uploads. I hope she does a vlog. Put a picture of snacks in the Discord. Oh, okay, Steffi. Okay, so Amberlyn Reed said spill it wait ask me a question someone said spill us some tea sis and she said i'm in love save me sos you guys i think it is your mama this is my conspiracy theory because the last vlog we watched of hers the last video whatever upload she randomly found men's underwear in her apartment and it happened to be around the time, like it would have been around the time your mama was traveling, which she's traveling again, <laughs> but she's always sending him super chats. She's like so smitten with him. It has to be your mama and she's an idiot if she likes him. Okay. Um, somebody said, ask me a question. Go live. I'd been advised not to LMAO. Why can't she go live? <gasps> oh gosh. There goes my dog again. Hold on one second. Are you okay, Gibby? Are you having a hard day? Are you having a hard day? Okay, hold on. I don't know. It's so weird. Well, she is gay, but she fawns all over your mama like a schoolgirl with a crush. It's crazy to me. And like, why would there randomly be men's underwear in her apartment? Like, she has a washer and dryer. She's doing her own laundry there. It's not like she got them mixed up at the laundromat, you know? It's just odd. So why were there men's underwear in her apartment? Um, let's see. Somebody asked her, are you and Destiny civil at the moment? And she asked, who's Destiny? Oh, gosh. How old are we? Who is your favorite YouTuber right now? H3 and Yo Mama. Get back to us once he turns on your ass and starts dragging you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Satan asked, why would anyone want? I don't know. She had to go to the laundromat because her washers broke. So maybe she did. Pick, I mean, I guess if she did, maybe it was a possibility she picked up men's underwear there. But that's so random. Like one pair of underwear mixed in with all her stuff. I guess it's possible, though. It's possible. Okay, let's see. Sherry said, girl, all you do is deflect and reflect how you actually feel about yourself and the person you've become. You swear you're so happy and Salah's so great and your marriage is wonderful, but in reality, you hate everything about your life but food. Unbelievable. Yeah, food's her true love. That's her first love, her true love. Um, Yeah, that's the only thing she finds enjoyment in. Yeah, didn't bother to check to get them. <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> Didn't bother to check the machines before dumping it. Maybe that's how. But I'm still going to run with my conspiracy theory because it's much more fun to believe. And, like, we know he talks to multiple um, overweight women on this community. Like, he's in the DMs of several. I don't even need to name names. 
So it like wouldn't necessarily surprise me. So I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep running with it. I'm going to keep running with it. <laughs> Wonder Mom said, like them or not, but FFG, Yava, Pulpy, and the others making so much more money than Foodie Beauty is a thing she will never get over. Each time she can't buy takeout about her husband, she rages. Love that for us. Joe said, I prefer the other story. Me too. <laughs> He's got all their nudes. He's probably sharing them all. I bet he is. I bet he is. Seven Lives ALR may be a lesbian, but her sexual preference is car driver or caretaker. Car driver or caretaker. Okay, let's read a few more. Let's see. Dyna Dyna Dynamite? Dynamite. Dynamite. Said, okay, people from YouTube, the fans of Foodie Beauty. What is it that makes you think that we, the people who have a different opinion than, 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 yeah, than that here, would be jealous of this? What is there to be jealous of? She is extremely overweight and cannot walk or live properly. Serious. I'm personally not jealous. Like, I know she thinks having a man is this big old flex, but like, I don't care. I don't need that. Do you know what I mean? I don't need to be fake claimed or faked love by anybody. I'm secure enough with myself. I can treat myself better. I just, who needs that? I can go on walks. I can go on scooter rides. Um, I'm very active. <laughs> I don't want that. I love that the most unhealthy thing I eat during the day is avocado toast. And it's not even unhealthy, but it's bread. Like, I love it. I love that I'm going to wake up tomorrow, the next day after that, even next year, God willing. Like, I am not at a chance anytime soon of being bedridden. My back is failing, but I'm not anytime soon going to be bedridden. Do you know what I mean? I would never want this. This isn't worth 20K to me. Disfiguring and deforming my body for money isn't something I want. It's not something I strive for. If that's the case, if I have to make 20 grand to turn myself into somebody I wouldn't even recognize, I'll stay broke. I will. Because I want a long life with my child. I want to see her get married. I want to see her before that. I want to see her go to college. I want to see everything that she's going to accomplish. Therefore, I'm going to eat healthy. I'm going to make sure I'm not eating things that could raise my blood or my blood sugar to an insane level number. I'm not going to do this to my body. I'm not going to abuse myself. I will stay broke and not be back in addiction. I don't want that. I don't miss being chained to something. I don't miss having to get my fix every 30 minutes. Like, you know, I don't want it. I don't want it. Who wants to be in an active addiction again and live that? No, thank you. Right, Lily? Nope. I will take my boring single life is what I will take. I don't miss it. Addictions are expensive. They're isolating. They're horrible. I don't miss that. I don't miss that. Um, let's see. Amen. Never again. Yeah, never again. Okay. Wonder Mom said, Foodie Beauty wants to write a recipe book? Will she add the dirty hands, the cat hair, dirty clothes as part of the recipe? And how unhappy is our girl? She's miserable. She wants to hide how mad she is at the people not believing her lies and BS. Her life is misery and there's no way out. No, I fully believe for her, she's living her karma. And I think things are going to get worse. Okay, let's see. So it's a screenshot where she said, should I make an e-book or an e-recipe book? And Raja or Kay said, no, your food looks like slop. You can't cook for shit. And I imagine that anyone who even attempts to try your recipes will end up on the toilet for hours with the runs. Again, F you is what they said. <laughs> oh my gosh. Let's see. It's a clip of Foodie Beauty saying we don't know anything. Queen of WTF said we know enough. We know everything. Well, we don't know everything, but we do know enough. We know more than she thinks. Um, we have some amazing detectives over here on Girl World who always figure things out. She's just, she can stay delusional. Can I post a video on the cord about how stupid that you have to eat? Yes, you can, PQ. Thank you for asking. All right, let's see. Sherry said, Foodie Beauty, you are one sick human being. 
and I'm using that term lightly, but to speak about someone's family member overdosing has reached a new low, even for you. If I didn't like you before, I now can't stand you. In two days, it will be the, and then they share something personal. But yeah, I didn't like her before, couldn't stand her before. I have even stronger feelings towards that now. Um, addiction isn't something to, especially like people, not everybody makes it. Not everybody makes it. Addiction is very hard. It's very sad. And um, anybody who's ever lost somebody due to addiction, which is probably many of us, knows how sad it is and how heartbreaking it is. And for Foodie Beauty to throw that in anybody's face, especially when there's kids still grieving this, has made me dislike her to an extent I didn't even know I could feel. I think she's evil. I think she's vile. And um, I think that she just gets what she gets in life. She just does. She, it's weird how when you make fun of things like that, it has a funny way of coming back to you in life. It just does. So I don't envy her and I wouldn't want to be her. And I'm so thankful I'm not her. I'm addicted to Mountain Dew Baja Blast, so I'm good. <laughs> I I like my soda. I... I probably drink way more than um, I should, but in my defense, I eat very healthy, very freaking healthy, and I feel like, I don't know, going through life, ADD, ADHD, unmedicated, I don't know, my ADHD people will get it. Something about caffeine just like evens you out. It just does. Um, Let's see. Yes, a cameo. They make a great gift. No. I would never talk to somebody again if they sent me a Foodie Beauty cameo, even if it's family. I would never talk to them again. <laughs> Taste the biscuit. Oh my gosh, I'm going to have that song stuck in my head again. No, no. Do you guys want to end with Taste the Biscuit? I have to go for now, but I am planning on coming back later. Um, I'm going to keep an eye on Foodie Beauty Twitter. So this is what I should say. I'm planning on coming back. Granted, we have something to talk about. <laughs> um, Wait, Bad Seed made it a community post. I'm just going to read it to you guys really fast. Bad Seed said Foodie Beauty. Wait, is there a new Foodie community post? Oh, yeah, we got a new one. Okay. She's watching us. I just called her car Chief Timu car. She's literally watching us. Everybody say hi to Foodie. So she said, edit, even the base model is 30 grand. Look it up. She says, our car is a cheap Timu car. You know, 7,499 is 33 grand in Canadian dollars, right? And yes, you can finance, but the reality is you have no idea of our situation, but you can keep being wrong. It's funny at this point how bitter people are sounding. If you really have no other content than to obsessively try to contrive dumb theories about who is paying, how we are paying for it, etc., 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 you really, really need a life. And stop worrying about ours because you will never know our private lives. We owe you nothing. And she shared a picture of a car that looks way nicer than the one she's driving. <laughs> the one in the picture looks a lot nicer than her toaster she's driving. She's literally watching us, you guys. We owe you nothing. You don't have to tell us anything about your private life. We know that he doesn't touch you. And you're driving a cheap car. It comes with a fire extinguisher. I'm sorry that hurts your feelings, but... <laughs> I'm really sorry. But, um... Also, Foodie, he didn't want that car for to drive you around in. He asked for that car because he's going to get much hotter, prettier woman, women once you're bed bound. He's thinking for the future. Once you are seriously stuck in a bed, wondering where he is, he's going to be out on dates, living his best life. Forklift song, please. What's the forklift song? Hold on, let me look it up. Anyway, so Bad Seed responded and said, oh my gosh, you are obviously upset people were not impressed by your Communist Party China car. And let me tell you this, boo-boo, 33 grand is not expensive for an automobile. It's especially pathetic coming from a 40-year-old woman thinking it's a flex. Nobody cares about your generic fire hazard of a hoopty. <laughs> 
cares about your generic biohazard of a hoopty? Who are you trying to impress? It's certainly not me because my other car is a BMW. Bloop. <laughs> oh my gosh. She's so upset, but I'm so honored that she's watching our live stream right now. <laughs> Pootie, make sure you're watching all the ads. I'm an affiliate on Twitch now. So, um, you know how you love to say I don't get paid to react to you? I actually am right now. Thank you for contributing. Thank you. <laughs> She is batshit crazy, you guys. Okay, I'm going to look up um, Taste the Biscuit. I should probably just have that saved and ready at this point. But um, she's trying to steal our song, too. So let's go ahead and play it. Booty Beauty, we know who's not tasting your biscuit. Is this why you're so angry? Ugh, poor you. Poor you. <laughs> Oh, you text me the forklift song? Okay, hold on. Okay, thank you. Um, let's see. Hold on. I don't see it. Oh, wait. Game Grumps Remix? Okay, I guess we're going to listen to a different song. It's a forklift song? I have no idea what it's about, so hopefully it's not weird. Well, hopefully it's a little weird, but like, I don't know. I'm a little nervous. She needs to buy a biscuit toy and a ton of batteries. I mean, at this point, she should. Like, why stay miserable? Why stay miserable? All right, I guess. Hold on. What the heck is this? Okay, let me share the screen. <laughs> A forklift comes in handy if you're around foodie. True. All right. I guess we're dedicating this to foodie. Game Grumps Remix. Forklift Simulator. Is this what it is? <laughs> it's Forklift Simulator. We're bringing the big energy. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> forklift Simulator. We're ready to pick up the shit. Shit that's in front of me, ready to move backwards so I can line it up, ready to go and pick up some shit, ready to call my dad, ready to come over. Oh, yeah. Gotta back up my little forklift, oops, ran into the wall of the trailer, but it doesn't count as a collision, you gotta bring the precision, you gotta make a decision, or you will experience my derision. Question child, question child, here come the parents, crush them too. Witnesses are a problem for me. I've been to jail many times. Forklift simulator. For Same. Forklift simulator. <laughs> I've been to jail so many times. Forklift simulator. Forklift simulator. Forklift simulator. Learned how to drive a forklift while on work release from prison. Once killed a man. Whoops. The man might have been my dad. Definitely my dad. Whoops. I killed my dad with a forklift. My dad gave me some back chat. Don't want any survivors. So I hopped inside that forklift. Ran over my dad. He ran over his dad. Then he ran over his mom. What the hell are we watching? <laughs> mom was a witness. Then he ran over his brother. My brother wasn't a witness. I had to drive to his house. Run him over with the forklift. An efficient way of killing. Come on. Forklift simulator, forklift simulator. I've been to jail so many times. Forklift simulator, forklift simulator, forklift simulator. Learned how to drive a forklift while on work release from prison. Forklift simulator, forklift simulator. See you fucking later. That's what I said to my dad when I threw him in the river. You could say I gently lowered him in the river with the forklift. <laughs> that was my dad. Gotta miss him. Oh my gosh. Forklift simulator. <laughs> forklift simulator. Forklift simulator. Forklift simulator. Died in 13 states, most of which were murder. Forklift simulator. Forklift simulator. Died in 13 states, most of which were murder. 
What do you think your son, dad? Lower that fucking shit down. <laughs> what do you think your son, dad? Oh, that's right, you're dead. Whoops. I killed you with the forklift. Forklift simulator. <laughs> I don't really remember. The cocaine is so strong. What a dark backstory for a forklift simulator. The cocaine is too strong. Later, right. killed so many people. It's my job and also my passion. Come on! Forklift simulator. Is that the sound of sirens? Oh, yeah. Forklift simulator. Please don't tell me that sirens. Oh, oh, oh. oh, no! Oh, come oh, on! God, no! What the fuck? We're going to forklift jail, apparently. Oh my gosh. I don't have any room for these songs to live rent free in my head. <laughs> I'm going to be singing that all night now. Oh my gosh. You guys and your songs. Okay, now we have to listen to Taste the Biscuit. <laughs> what the heck? Oh my gosh. Okay, Taste the Biscuit. That was a pretty good song, though. That was pretty good. All right, let me pull up Taste the Biscuit. <laughs> oh my gosh. If you guys have any any more weird songs you want us to react to together, please send them to me. You guys have some pretty good songs. All right. Taste the Biscuit. We know nobody's tasting yours, foodie. Would you like the rest of my sandwich? I'm not homeless. Oh my gosh. Hey, come on, grab your stuff. I got us a place to play. What is hey. it? Oh, I don't know. It's a place called Dante's or something. And they've only allowed us to do one song. So we got to make it a good one. Come on. Taste the biscuit, taste the goodness of the biscuit. Taste the honey sauce, taste the goodness of the biscuit with the honey sauce. Don't get that honey sauce on me. I don't like the way it tastes with my chicken wings. Taste the biscuit. Taste the goodness of the biscuit. Taste the butter spread. Taste the goodness of the biscuit with the butter spread. To get your butter spread all on me. I don't like the way it mixes with my mac and cheese. Cause when you're at KFC, you got that special sauce to stir my curiosity. <laughs> Just give me a five-piece meal. Oh, what a deal. A big old box, it's all for me. You know I'll take coleslaw on the side. I could tell you wanted to try the potato wedges. Salah so could never. Taste the biscuit, taste the goodness of the biscuit. Taste the honey sauce, taste the goodness of the biscuit with the honey sauce. Get your honey sauce on me. I don't like the way it mixes with my chicken wings. Get none of that honey sauce on me. I don't like the way it tastes on my chicken wings. Take us out, Moose. Taste the biscuit. Taste the biscuit. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me. If anybody uploads anything else, any foodie rages, I will see you later tonight. I'll give you guys like a little heads up on 
uh, Discord. But if there's anything you guys want to react to tonight that you th think would be entertaining, let me know too. And we could also go live for that. Anyways, thank you guys so much. Have a great day, great evening, wherever you are. And I will see you. I feel like I'm definitely going to see you tonight. All right, bye, you guys.